Hey guys, welcome back to Pokemon Wilting Y. Let's get going, let's get going. Uh, so in the last video we came down Route uh, 15 and explored the Lost Hotel. We ended up here in this little gate. And uh, like I, you can go down Route 16 and I, I, I couldn't really decide whether I wanted to go down Route 16 yet or if I just wanted to go into the city. Um, but I think I am going to go ahead and go down Route 16, at least as far as I can. And just, you know, you know, see what we can we can do. So, uh, yeah, here we, here we go. This is Melancholy Path. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. No, I'm not gonna use your appell yet. So, uh, while I'm going down Route 16, I wanna go over the answers to my question of the day from video number 20. And my question of the day was, what is your favorite pseudo-legendary? My uh, uh, Garchomp had just evolved. So I, I wanted to know what you guys' favorite pseudo-legendary Pokemon was. Let me see something here. I wanna see, what if I say yes? Yeah, okay. I uh, thought so. So, yeah, I wanted to ask you guys what your favorite pseudo-legendary Pokemon was. And uh, Francis Edwards said that it has always been Mega Metagross uh, up until Sun and Moon when it was replaced by como -O. And I could not remember for the life of me um, what the name of the final evolution was of that chain. If Because if, I know you got como -O and jangmo -O and hakamo -O, but... I mean, I could never max survive. That's a good item, but I, I can never remember which one is which. Um, I think Jingmo O is the the first one, the the, the first stage. But yeah, um, but yeah. Uh, thank you uh, to those of you who you know answer my question of the day and leave comments on the videos. Uh, I do enjoy you know reading the comments and I try my best to respond. I may not respond right away, but I I do try to respond eventually. Um, so yeah, we have run into a, a wild pumpkaboo here. So here on Route 16, you can find Skorupi, Phantom, Weepin Bell. I'm actually gonna run away. Um, Skorupi, Phantom, Weepin Bell, Buffalant, Floatzel, Sunflora, and Klefki in the yellow flowers. That is uh, here in the tall grass where we are. You can find, as you see, Pumpkaboo, uh, Mistrivus, Fungus, Pumpkaboo, Pumpkaboo. Oh, I think that's like large and extra large. Uh, Tropius, Klefki, and then. Um, Fish oh, we're back in the All Lost Hotel, okay. Uh, fishing with the old rod, you can find Poliwag. Uh, with the good rod, you can find Basculin, Poliwhirl. Uh, super rod, you can find uh, Poliwhirl and Basculin. And with uh, surfing, you can find Lombri, Floatzel, Palpitoad, Seismitoad. And then uh, Hordes, you can find Squirtle, Bulbasaur, and Tropius. So, yeah, we're back in the Lost Hotel, this is awesome. I guess I need Rock Smash to get through these, to get through those walls. I might come back here actually, um, just depending on how long Route 16 takes. I might go into Dindamel Town and just kind of explore uh, the town, and then if I have time after that, I may come back over to this route with Ivysaur, since it uh, does know. Um, since it does know. Uh, rock smash and see what it can do. Dang, that thing is bulky. Let's try, yeah. I did not heal my Pokemon between the last video and this one. I'm actually, I'm actually playing this video, like, immediately following that one, so, uh, yeah. You get a lot of uh, Darmanitan. Wow, you get a lot of uh, experience from that, from that uh, Dunsparce. So I have Aqua Jet. I don't think that'll do too much. Okay, it actually did a little bit more than I thought. I cannot wait to get a better water type move on Blue Mini. Uh, like I said, Blue Mini's um, uh, move set, final move set, I'm gonna have Play Rough and then uh, either Aqua Tail or Waterfall. I may try and keep Aqua Jet though, because it is nice to have that priority move kind of up your sleeve. So I, I may, I may try and keep. I may try and keep Aqua Jet 
on there. Same with Shadow Sneak on uh, on Oathkeeper. Can I skate down here? I sure can. I need to put up a repel. Litwick again. So in the last video, I went over uh, the Pokemon that you could find here in the Lost Hotel. So I'm, I'm not going to do that again, just because I just don't want to. Uh, Garchomp's HP is low, so let me just heal it up real quick before it faints. Cool. This guy. Oh, come on. I totally forgot to put up the Super Repel. There's an Electrode. I was gonna say, I know there's other Pokemon you can find in here other than Litwick, but I feel like Litwick is the only one that I've actually been running into. Couldn't get away, of course. Alright, just run away again. Now I can't even use Dig. Come on! There we go. Yeah, let me go ahead and use a Repel, just cause... I don't want to be dealing with this while I'm in here. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be in here. Probably not that much longer. But you never know. Alright, let's battle. My buddy was pitting on the whole bad guy act, so I copied him and ended up like this. I wonder if we can buy clothes in Dendamel Town that'll make us more stylish. This is punk guy Jacques, uh, who sends out Skuntank. Skuntank's all like... <laughs> Alright, dig! Poison and dark, right, Skuntank? I, I, I can never remember Skuntank or Drapion's typings. Did he just use self-destruct or, like, explosion or something? That's funny. That's funny. Keep battling. He's gonna send out the Raticate and Guard Trump's just gonna be like, BAM! Raticate's like, uh, where's my opponent? Right there. That's awesome. That's awesome. Took out two Pokemon only using one PP. Crawdon is next. I'll switch. Let's go with, uh... Oh, Heliolisk. I always forget about Heliolisk. So Heliolisk could use a little bit more HP, so we're gonna go with the Parabolic Charge here. That does the trick. Restores my HP by a little bit. Crawled on things. Eek! Please forgive me, he says. That's alright. Oh, and uh, my Heliolisk is also holding the amulet coin, so there's that. Oh yeah, definitely need to come back here with Rock Smash. Both my mom and my old man are veterans, and my big bro is an ace trainer. I just couldn't stand to be all goody two-shoes like them. How boring can you get? Alright, so while we're battling her, I want to ask you guys, this video is question of the day, and this is again more, uh, sort of in line with the last question, more kind of get to know you type thing. Um, what kind of movies do you like? What are your favorite movies? Uh, answer down in the comments, and I will go over your answers in a, uh, in a future video. But, uh, for me, I don't know if I have, like, a single favorite movie, but... I do, I do love like the Lord of the Rings movies. I love the Marvel movies, the MCU movies. Um, I like, like a lot of the Bill Murray comedies from like the 80s, like, uh, let's see, Perugly, that's just a regular normal type, right? We'll go with Oathkeeper. Um, like Ghostbusters, Caddyshack, Stripes, I love those movies. Um, Twister. I like disaster movies, just kind of in general. Um, but yeah, answer in the comments. Um, I don't think that'll do much. But yeah, answer in the comments. Um, you know, what is, if you have like a favorite movie, definitely let me know. But if you don't, you know, just tell me what, what movies or what kind of movies you like. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, go over those in 
in the next video. Not the next video. Probably video like... Like... 28 or something? I don't know. 29? One of those? Go. Oh. Okay, yeah. So we can't go that way without Rock Smash. That's okay. We can't go that way either. Oh, we've been there. Okay. Is there anything in here? It's just a trash can. Not even a recycle bin. It's just a trash can. Okay. I think we are done in here. At least for now. We'll come back with Rock Smash. I did put up a repel, right? Yeah. <laughs> that answers my question. Let's see, are there trainers in here? Yep. Rare candy, like it, I like it a lot. I don't know if I would be able to see the trainers, like, from just, you know, my vantage point. Oh, there's someone. Yeah. Even though I don't even know if I'm going to be walking through... Hey, there we go. Hmm, think you got the skills to take me on? Uh, yeah. Let's see. I think Garchomp's already at level 54. I probably should have moved someone else to the front, but oh well. Manetric. Well, this is actually perfect. We will uh, stick with Garchomp for this one. Yeah, I did get to level 54. All right, we'll go ahead and use Dig on the Manetric. This is actually like perfect. Garchomp avoided the roar. Oh, the roller skater with the strats. Okay, Firo. I see what you're doing. Garchomp's attack fell while it was in the ground. Okay, let's use uh, Dragon Claw. I forget how fast Garchomp is. Like, I mean, not like, not like I am forgetting. It's just like, Garchomp is really fast. I, I believe it has, I believe its base speed is 102. And when it Mega Evolves, its base speed actually goes down to 92. Um, Manetric, yeah, we'll, we'll keep battling. So when it Mega Evolves, it actually loses speed. But uh, 92 base speed is still pretty decent, so it's still not bad. Avoided the roar. We couldn't avoid the intimidate somehow when we were underneath the uh, the ground, but we avoided the roar, so that that's that's how that works. Alright, and then we'll go ahead and battle this person. Drift and dash, spin, then boom, right into battle. Prugly. Oh, these things usually have, or the last one I battled at least had play rough. Let's see, this isn't a fairy type, is it? I guess I'll find out right now if I actually attack it. Come on. I'm not gonna take any chances. Yeah, Oathkeeper. I'm, I'm, trying, I'm, I'm sitting here trying to figure out who should I switch into, but I'll switch into Oathkeeper. Really? Oh my goodness. But actually attack the Perugly. Because I know if you hurt yourself in your confusion, you're gonna knock yourself out. Oh, there goes Oathkeeper. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. When it makes that stance change, its defense goes way down and its attack goes way up. So if it hurts itself in a, like, confused swagger... Mm. 
just hit it. Just hit it. Okay, good. Jeez. That was ridiculous. All right, Heliolisk, let's see if we can, well, first of all, get it to level 53, which I don't think should be a problem, but let's see if we can restore more of its HP here with this Parabolic Charge. Nice. That was a five times, or five times, a four times super effective. That doesn't even make sense, five times super effective. Heliolisk is at level 53. And also, guys, I need to come up with nicknames for Heliolisk and Garchomp. Venomoth, that's Poison and Bug, I believe. We'll switch to Vixen. Hopefully before I leave Dindabell Town, I'll have nicknames for them. Don't you underestimate us. We're about as strong as Ace Trainers, you know. No, they're not. Alright, this is Pokemon Ranger Lee with the Crawdon. Okay. And again, I still have Garchomp up front. Well, actually... Oh, he's still paralyzed. Let's see what Garchomp can do here. We're going to use Dragon Claw. It's going to use Dragon Dance. Attack and speed will go up. That's actually a little bit scary. Because now, not only is it going to go first... Oh, it's using Dragon Dance again. Okay, so as long as I'm not fully paralyzed here, I should be okay. Yeah. Crawdon, there's a time and place to set up, and this was not it. I might as well let Garchomp get to level... Uh, 55. I'm gonna switch into Blue Mini though, just cause Sand Slash and he's paralyzed and yeah, Blue Mini. We got the water going on. Yeah, Aqua Jet's just gonna gonna own here. Rock slide. Bug and flying. Heliolisk. Nice. Not bad at all. Not bad. Alright, we defeated Pokemon Ranger Lee. Yep, that's because you were nowhere near Ace Trainers and I beat them too. Uh, <laughs> let's see. There's someone. I actually saw that person. Let us begin our battle. Through it, I will learn all there is to know about you. Mwahaha. Yeah, so this video and like, the last one is. Why does she have five Pokemon? Does she have five Pumpkaboo? Are they like all the different size Pumpkaboos or something? Uh, okay, you know what? Here, here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to full restore. Yeah, that's right, you heard me. Full restore. If I can find a full restore. Yeah, there it is. 
uh, Garchomp. Because this is ridiculous. This person has five Pokemon. And we're just gonna we're, we're we're just gonna marathon it here with Garchomp. We're gonna marathon your entire team. All right, let's use Crunch. That's right. Five hundred and twenty-three. Nope. 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 Forty-nine. The last one was at forty-eight. Garchomp's PP is getting low. Pumpkaboo again. Level 50. Is that one bigger? It, it actually kind of looks bigger. Maybe it's just my imagination, but I think it actually does look bigger. Do the bigger Pumpkaboos, like... Because I know there's like different size pumpkaboos, but do they have any difference like other than their size? Like, like do their like are their stats different? That one looks bigger. I don't know if it looks bigger than the last one, but it definitely looks bigger than the first one that came out. Ooh, that one did not quite do the trick. Let's use slash. Oh, I'm so dumb. I am so dumb. I am so freaking dumb. I was just like, it, it just has a sliver of HP left. I can just use Slash to take it out, save the PP for Crunch, but <laughs> nope. Not against the ghost type. Gorgeist. Guys, I'm just out of it. I'm out of it right now. I don't know what to do. Like, I, I I made the same mistake in the last video too, sending sending Vixen out in the rain without even like stopping to remember that hey, guess what? It's raining. But it worked out. Yes, that's right. I'm the red Pokemon Ranger. Uh, I get it. Like the red Power Ranger. Except Pokemon. Sligoo! Alright, let's see if Garchomp can take this thing out in one hit. Now, Sligoo likes the rain, right? Yeah. That's pretty good right there. Ooh, Garchomp's almost at level... I'll switch. I was gonna... Well, let's see. Yeah, Heliolisk. Garchomp is almost at level... 55. It won't take long before it gets there. I said not Heliolisk because the fact that it's raining cast form is gonna transform into the water cast form. Um, so Heliolisk with the Thunderbolt ought to do the trick. All right, we got we defeated Bjorn, dude. You're you're way past in trouble. Why don't you make it double? What is this? A lumberry. Oh, there's more beyond this way, huh? better be something here. Okay. A max potion. Someone on my team has fainted. 
Oh, it's Oathkeeper, isn't it? Yeah, Oathkeeper knocked itself out in its confusion. With almost... Half... Like, it's... With, with almost half HP. I can't talk right now. I am just freaking out. Allow me to honor you and your Pokemon with the battle. Don't you think your Pokemon are just gorgeous when they're showing off their moves? Yeah, they I. They I. Alright, we are challenged by Mysterious Sister... Atlas and Eos. Atlas. I like a freaking Zam and Gardevoir. Okay. Um, Garchomp and Heliolisk are who is coming up. Oh, shoot. Let's use Crunch on Alakazam. And Heliolisk will use Thunderbolt on Gardevoir. So Heliolisk actually outspeeds them. That's kind of awesome. Gardevoir gets paralyzed, which is amazing. Alright, Alakazam uses Future Sight on Heliolisk. Gar uh, Garchomp's going to be able to use Crunch, which will take out the Alakazam. Yeah. And Garchomp's at level 55. Alright, so we'll go ahead and after this battle, we'll definitely move Garchomp, uh, Dragon Rush. Oh, goodness. Yeah, because, let me see, Dragon Claw, it's power of 80, uh, 100 accuracy. Dragon Rush has a power of 100 with 75 accuracy. It may make the target flinch. I'm going to have a good Slash. Because, I mean, Slash is not going to be part of its final moveset anyway. So, I might as well have Dragon Rush, and we'll see how it does. We'll, we'll, we'll test it out. Gardevoir cannot attack due to its paralysis, which is kind of awesome. Um, so, we will go ahead and have... Uh, none of the... We'll, we'll go ahead and tell it to use Dragon Rush, but I think that... The Thunderbolt will just take care of it. Yeah, because the Dragon Rush would not hit Gardevoir due to its fairy typing. And I might actually put Heliolisk up front now. Or maybe Oathkeeper. But Oathkeeper is fainted. Let's see here. Pokemon. Let, let's see what we should do here. It's not even showing me his level. That's how fainted he is. Restore. Wait. Wait. Oh, here it is. I was like, do I not have a revive? Alright, it is a level 53. Uh, let's go ahead and do the Hyper Potion. Oh, I didn't need to do that. Uh, so let's go ahead and move Oath Keeper. Um, yeah, switch. To right there. Guard Chomp. Oh, well, no, I don't need to do that. Um, oh my goodness, come on. Item... Move to Oathkeeper. All right. Mm hmm. I wonder where I'm going to end up at the end of all this. So I don't have Waterfall yet, so I'm not able to go up that Waterfall. Uh, and there's nothing... Yeah, okay. It doesn't look like there's anything I can really do over there until... Yes. It doesn't look like there's anything I can do over there until I actually get Waterfall. So let's battle this little girl. Guess what? Guess what? My mommy made this dress for me. My mommy made this dress for me. Yeah, that's what she said. Okay. Fairy tale girl Alice sends out Klefki. Okay. This is Steel and Fairy. Um... We've got my own steel type up front here. We're going to go ahead and use Iron Head. Stance change will uh, switch its attack with its defense. Yeah, I was going to say, that shouldn't do much. Well, let's use Shadow Sneak and see what that if that does anything. Alright. I don't think it was going to do much more damage than that, actually. Meanwhile, I will switch actually. Uh, let's go with Vixen here.
This is such a weird Pokemon. What is this? Do they, do you heal my Pokemon? Or do you give me the Super Rod? Yeah. All right, we finally got the Super Rod. Oh, I'm not gonna try, honestly, to be honest with you. Um, I'm not really, I don't really, I don't really need that in my life, so I can just let it be. This is a big route. Like, I, I honestly thought that we would have time to, uh, um, let's see, is, does this lead anywhere or, or is this just like fishing docks? I don't think this like actually leads anywhere, to be honest, at least to an item, a dive ball. <laughs> I don't even need to, to fish consecutively. I can just find a dive ball right here. Yeah, but this is this is a big route here, guys. Um, maybe we won't have time to explore Dandemil Town. Let's battle these fishermen while we have the electric type up front in our party. Fisherman Finn sends out Basculin. Finn with the Basculin. Oh, I have Oathkeeper. Why did I think I had Heliolisk up front? Um, let's go ahead and use Sacred Sword. That, that Basculin does outspeed me, so I'm gonna go with the Shadow Sneak just to knock it out. There we go. Basculin is next. I'm gonna switch actually. Um, I feel like I'm gonna be very careful with uh, Aegislash until it gets King Shield. I don't like the fact that I'm not able to switch back to the other stance. Uh, we'll go ahead and Thunderbolt this thing. I think, honestly, I think the play here is Heliolisk up front. Alright. Just when I thought I lost the biggest catch of my life, you show up. An even bigger catch, I'd say. Well, you're not wrong. All right, this is uh, Fisherman Seaward. With the... All right, well, I'm gonna see what, what happens here. Hopefully he won't come at me with the ground type move, although I don't know why he wouldn't. Uh, I'm gonna come at it with a cut. Okay. Yeah, I'm done. I is dead. Uh, we'll go with Oathkeeper. In shield form, Oathkeeper should be able to take an Earthquake. Um, so, well, actually, I don't even need to worry about taking an Earthquake. I'll just use uh, Shadow Sneak. Oathkeeper does have that Amulet Coin, so... I should be using old powers. Like, a special attack old power, especially with that Eviolisk up front. Luminion. Yeah, I mean, I hadn't used Scary AF in a while. Let's use Scary AF. Why hadn't I used Scary AF in a while? Scary AF just, you know, sitting there in the team being epic and all. You know, it can be a lot more useful. Actually, you know, taking on these Mons here with me. Silverwind. That's also a bug type move. That's not very effective. Uh, X Scissor again. I should have used Poison Jab. Oh. 
Yeah. Yeah. I may keep losing big catches, but I won't let it get to me. Persistence is key. And we got monies for winning. Um, let me do this. <laughs> of course, as soon as I, I, I switch the electric type up front, because I'm taking on water types, he comes at me with the water and ground one. Alright, and you'll get the rest back with your parabolic charge. That's what it's there for. Whoa! That's some strong pull on my fishing line. Looks like you're a tough bunch. Is that like Fisher speak or something? I've been fishing before, and I don't remember talking like that. Fisherman Wade sends out Polyrath. Alright. Let's see if Parabolic Charge... Well, no, let's just use Thunderbolt. We're just gonna use Thunderbolt here. Yeah. Poly Toad. But yeah, we'll keep battling. I don't know why, but I'm not as threatened by this Polytoad as I was by the Polyrath. So I am going to use Parabolic Charge here to get a little bit of HP back. Uh, okay, it still takes it out. Awesome. Parabolic Charge doesn't do as much damage as Thunderbolt, so I wasn't sure it would take it out. But it did, so that is amazing. Uh, Helio List is at level 54. So I'm going to do like I did with Garchomp, just keep it up front until it's at 55. Now, I don't... I don't know if... All the Pokemon... Wait a minute. Hold on, let me check something. You know what I just noticed, guys? This is off! <laughs> no wonder no one else is gaining levels. Ah, goodness. Okay. I wonder where this goes. Wait, let me read this. What does this say? Okay, where does this go? Huh? Makes sense. No, this is the game. I just came from Route 16. Yeah, I saw that guy over in the desert. Really? I freaking hate this place. Uh, where am I? Alright, well, since I'm here, I might as well see if I can find a Pokemon Center. Let's see, is that South Boulevard? Yeah, let me just go this way, because I want to see if I can find a Pokemon Center. <laughs> oh, this is so dumb. There's four. All roads lead to Lumios, right? Alright, so, um... <laughs> I am gonna go back to that gate to Dendamil. I can't believe that we're back here at this freaking place. Honestly. Like, um, alright. Let's go back from whence we came. And, uh, I'm gonna head back, um, Route 16 up to Route 15. And I'm probably gonna go sit at that same little table that I sat at, uh, before. Cause, um, you know, why not? I wonder if I could've gone this way. Oh, you know, I think those people, like, tell you, oh yeah, you can, you can go through this way. Like, those people there, I think they'll stop you from, like, going if you end up trying to go before you've gone through Laver and 14 and 15 and all that. So, let's see here. Let's, yeah. yeah we're just, we're just going to get back over there. So, if you guys want to turn the video off at this point, you can. Because the rest of this is literally just going to be me trying to get uh, back from whence we came. Oh, wait. not Not that way. I didn't get that leaf pile. I didn't get that one either. How did I not get that leaf pile? There we go. Uh, 
Okay. Alright, this looks like the perfect seat for me, guys. So, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, end the, end this video in the same exact place I ended the last one. Uh, so thank you for watching, guys. Leave a like, leave a comment. If you have not already, please subscribe. And I will see you in the next video where we actually will explore Dendemil Town. Bye.